Hit first bo <clears throat> hit first we in the house with the one and only Robert Garcia. I mean, you just had an amazing, amazing year, 2013, 2012. You was trainer of the year. I mean, so many things on your plate. You got so many fighters. First, let's rewind. I mean, Mike Donna versus Adrian Broner. That night, man, I mean, you guys just took it to a whole different level. A lot of people said that no chance that Maidana would even win with Broner. They gave everyone Broner. Right. I can honestly say that me too. I was, you know, favoring for Broner and uh, I was in shock. I was in shock. I Everybody mean, was, you know, we, uh, we had a great year, like you just said, you know, 2012, I was turn of the year, and uh, I think 2013 was even better. I had a way better year. Uh, Mikey winning titles in two divisions, uh, Granny Gradovich becoming the world champion, Jesus Cuellar becoming world champion, and then especially, you know, my Dana's win against Bronner was, was huge. I think it was, uh, was uh, one of the biggest upsets of the year. Very few people thought Maidana could pull it up, and he did. You know, Maidana trained very hard, he was motivated, and he knew the importance of beating somebody like Broner was. So himself, the whole team, myself, we trained like never before. Now, we over here, man, Mikey Garcia, big fight with Burgos, man, this Saturday. How was training camp for this fight? Training camp went well, you know, Mikey, Mikey's very motivated uh, to win this fight and, and look sensational, you know, he knows the importance of winning the fight. He he knows what Bob Arum has been talking about already, about uh, future fights, so uh, we gotta perform, you know, we gotta, we gotta do our job this Saturday and Mikey's trained and uh, motivated to do uh, his best performance ever. Yesterday on Twitter, you know, Bam Bam, you know, Mr. Rios over here, you know, him and Gamboa going at it one-on-one -on -one with the Twitter thing and everything like this. Will that fight ever happen? I mean, it was supposed to happen, what, like a year ago well, almost too? It was supposed to happen, and uh, it's not our fault that, that Gamboa didn't show up. You know, Gamboa was, you know, we, we went to Miami to, to announce that fight. He never showed up. You know, that's not that's not our fault, you know. He's saying it was something to do with money. Well, Brandon, was, Brandon signed a contract for to fight him for 900000 and uh, And I know he got a contract for $1.2 So he was getting more money than Brandon was. So if that if the money wasn't an issue, you know, he's trying to make that make that story up. Or unless they told him he was gonna make a lot less, that's not my you know that's not my problem. I know what Top Rank gave 50 cent. I don't know if 50 cent was offer him a lot less. That's not my business. But I know he they were gonna get 1.2. So and you pretty he didn't, much I mean if he, didn't, if he didn't show up, you know that's that's something that you know uh, when a fighter does that. Never give him a shot again. You know, so he could call up Mikey, he could call up Brandon, he could say whatever he wants. He's starving. He ain't never getting a shot. Our, my fighters are never gonna fight him. I'll well, tell you that for sure. Let's go back. I mean, to that night with Maidana and Broner. I mean, in that corner, there's some controversy. Everybody's talking about what happened in that corner. I think it was the tenth round with your physical trainer with the napkin. I mean, what was that? I mean, what you went know, down? I look, mean, it was just a guzz. I mean, in my eyes, it looked like a guzz. You know, I mean, every, everybody, everybody tries to find any little, any little thing to blame us for whatever reason it is. They don't. They don't, they're not happy with what I've been doing with boxing, especially now that, now that Alex Aris is in my team. It looks like everybody's trying to find any little excuse, any little thing to, to, to get us from, to uh, pre prevent us from getting those big wins. You know, after the after the tenth, after the eleventh round, Maidana got hit clearly after the bell. Everybody's seen it. It's not you know, it's not like I'm making anything up. Clearly got hit after the bell. I don't know why the reason was the, the ref sent Maidana to the doctor. As you guys remember, as you guys recall, you know, if you see the fight, you guys see it. They sent him to the doctor. So in the corner, we're thinking he got cut. You know, he must he must he must have got a cut, either on his eyes or maybe inside his mouth. So Alex was prepared with gas, gas and those uh, those cotton cotton gloves that, that uh, normally uh, they use we use them in the nose or wherever when the fighters are being. He got prepared. So when we get into the ring, we don't see any cuts, we don't see anything. So he already had them in his hand. You know, he had them in his hand. He, you know, it was he had them because he was prepared in case there was there was a, a cut or bleeding in the mouth because. The fact that they sent him to the doctor told us something happened. He's cut. He's you know something must have happened. So he was ready. You know the fact that he had his hand and they put in his you know to wipe off his his uh, his uh, his nose and then his eyes. What does that you know? Why does that say that there was something illegal? You know plus it was the like eleventh going into the twelfth round. You know that was that was probably Broner's best round. You know it's not like it's not like we came out and knocked out Broner that round. We came out and uh, and actually my dad was still a little stunned. He got stunned in, at the beginning of the twelfth. Round, and that was clearly a uh, bronze round. So 
you know, so Rizzo got, he got two jobs, not only physical trainer, but now he's a cut man too. Oh, you know, we're not, you know, we also, have, we have our cut man in the corner. Yeah. We have our cut man in the corner, but Arisa was just prepared, because sometimes, sometimes there's, there's a couple of cuts, sometimes there's, there's the angle of the, you know, the fighter, if it's in the, you know, if, if he's standing on the right, on, on the right side and my cut man's on the left, he can reach in into, you know, into, into the, into the fighter's left eye, you know what I mean? I know. So we're prepared, we're prepared, we got to, uh, I'm also prepared with my things, if, if I see, if I, if, if my father comes into the into the corner and he he sits in front of me and I see something something in his in his eye or something else, then I got my stuff too. I could work I could work a cut if I have to. Very good. I got everything with me. We're all prepared for whatever 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 we see in the fight. Maybe my cutman don't see it and I see it. You know what I mean? We're ready. We're prepared. We're always prepared. I think I think uh, I think uh, we and I'm not ashamed of saying it, I, I'm not embarrassed of saying it. I think we got the best the best team the best corner uh, in boxing right now. There's there's no other team that could compare themselves. To, to my team. Tell the people what can they see in the future for 2014 out of your camp coming out. Well, you know, the fights are just getting harder, you know. Uh, 2011 was a great year. 2012 was better. 2013, I think, was way better. You know, making four world champions that year uh, with, with some impressive wins. I think uh, this year could be even better. The fighter, the fights are getting harder. Like I'm telling you, you know, the fights are getting harder, but we're still pulling them out. You know, uh, Maidana did what he had to do. Mike did. Russian did what he had to do. Cuellar did it. So, uh, so I think, uh, I think this could be a harder year, but it could also be a better year for us. A couple last words for your fans worldwide. Hey, you know, thanks for the support. You know, everybody always shows us lots of support, and uh, hopefully this year, you know, we continue to get your support from you guys. Thank you. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you. He deserves it better than Amir Khan, but it's a business. We also understand the boxing is a business. So they're going to make it mandatory that you're going to have to fight? I think, I think, we, might, I think we are. And not just because they're making us, but because I think that's probably, if, if we don't get married, that's probably the best the best option for, for Maidana. Yeah. If we don't, if we, you know, if, if we don't go with Maidana, they might offer us, you know, Paul Malignaghi, uh, Keith Thurman, you know, there's so many names out there for a lot less money. I think the fight, we already beat Broner, I think we could beat him again. Uh, and, and, and the money would be just way more than fighting uh, Malik Nagy or, or, uh, or, uh, or Keith Thurman or anybody out there. Even the unification against the new champion, uh, Sean Porter. All those fights are available, but I think, I think a rematch with Broner makes a lot more sense. Like just a lot more sense, you know, the money would just be unbelievable. Uh, if we don't get my weather. Is it in the contract? Is a clause in there for I a think, rematch? I, I think there is a, 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 a clause in the, in, in the contract, but not with the WBA. So we, ne we don't really have to, if we don't want to, because the WBA won't force us. But, like I said, this is a business, and we already beat them. We already beat them pretty convincingly. I think, uh, I think we will be able to do the same thing again. But if the money's right on the table, you guys will take it. Oh, definitely, definitely. That, that's, that's the best option. If it's not Mayweather, I think that's, that's our best option, and we're gonna take it. Thank you. All right, thank you.